Welcome back to the ChallengeYourself.blog channel. Today is the first narrated video about the robotics projects I've been working on. I promised in a recent video that uh, I'd be going over uh, the Raspberry Pi projects, and uh, let's get started. So I shot this video over the last couple days. I've been tinkering around with the assembly uh, that you see in the video. Uh, in this video, I focus mainly on the mechanical aspects of this project. I've always had an interest in electronics and robotics. I've worked with them in the past in some of my uh, previous roles. I wanted to see if I could build one from scratch. Uh, I wasn't using any Instructables or any prefabricated robot kits along the way. Uh, it's purely been an educational venture and quite a bit of research and trial and error. The first version of this was just a robot gripper arm. Uh, I hooked it up to uh, some micro servos, uh, tilt pans, zip ties. Uh, it was pretty bare bones and a lot of the parts I wasn't using um, as they were made for. So it, there was a lot of customization, uh, you could say, involved in this. Uh, I hooked it up directly to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I stitched together some code using some examples that I found online. Uh, the, the parts work pretty well overall for you know their size, but uh, since they're not real heavy duty, they're they're pretty lightweight and they're not meant to uh, hold the the weight of that gripper arm. So you see that it kind of droops a little bit, uh, and I had to support the base with uh, my finger in in the video. So after that, I went ahead and bought some small stepper motors, uh, some remote control vehicle parts, uh, some other accessories to do a full-blown upgrade. Uh, I used popsicle sticks as strut supports since they're extremely inexpensive. They're really easy to uh, drill by hand. Um, you don't have to use any power tools. In fact, sometimes using power tools can uh, work against you uh, since it'll break the stick. Um, not always, but sometimes. And, they're pretty inexpensive, so that if you break one, uh, no worries. You'll notice I'm using some of the gears as shaft collars. That'll be one of the things that I change up uh, here in the near future. Uh, you'll see some belt material that is typically used in printers if you've ever taken a printer apart. You'll see I'll be using that belt material uh, to move the, the gears that are on, on the arm assembly that'll help uh, move the, the joints uh, you know, up and down. In this video, I've, I've covered most of the mechanical stuff. It was just a quick update. Uh, I'm working through some issues on, uh, I have a chip kit Pi and that plugs directly into the Raspberry Pi. It's kind of like your Arduino counterpart uh, for the controlling the parts. Arduino has some advantages that Raspberry Pi doesn't necessarily have or you have to kind of work around that um, but the chip kit Pi that I bought I haven't found a lot of documentation online I, I see a lot of its uh, brother and sister type uh, equipment on online and there's some differences so uh, until I work some of those kinks out or just you know go out and buy an, uh, an Arduino board I do have a feather and it works uh, really well. The chip kit pie has been a little tricky, so we'll see what happens uh, over the next uh, few days and, and uh, I'll have an update pretty soon. So thanks for uh, stopping in. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more content, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, questions, whatever, uh, put one down in the bottom there and I'll uh, try to include that in some of the uh, future content. Thanks again and see you soon.